Hi friends! Welcome back! Or should I say hello again after one of my very long absences from this platform. You know, America is just... Plus, I'm in grad school, so I don't have time to watch bad animation. I just have time to painstakingly analyze mainstream songs in order to determine how creepy they are. <laughs> So that brings us to today's very special Halloween episode. Let's get the pumpkin. I, I have very limited Halloween decor and I wish I could somehow make it, make it prettier and make it more festive in this video, but oh well. Um, it's gonna be a little different than some of the creepy subjects we've talked about. This episode is about the spookiest Halloween song. And when I say the spookiest Halloween song, I'm talking about the fact that this year I made a playlist called Creepy Vibes Halloween Playlist. Now this song was basically the reason I created this playlist because I was thinking if you were having a Halloween party, you want like fun party music, but you want fun party music that's kind of creepy. And so I know you probably are taking guesses right now that what I'm describing is something like Monster Mash, something like Thriller, maybe even it's like Grim Grinning Ghosts or something because of my Disney girl side. But no, it is that classic Halloween jam, Feels, by Calvin Harris, featuring Katy Perry, Pharrell Williams, and Big Sean. So because I know I'm going to get some sort of copyright uh, violation, I'm not going to play it. We're going to do this like Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon, Wizard of Oz, sync up style. So I'm going to give you little sound bites. Everyone cue it up on your Spotify right now. I'm going to give you little like sound clips to listen to and then I'll do my analysis. Thank you very much. The first thing we're going to do is we're just going to listen right to the beginning. Please stop at 10 seconds in. And you already, I bet you're freaked out. I bet you're freaked out. I bet you're like, what the hell? This isn't Feels. No, it is. The first part of Feels is this creepy, distant tune that sounds like you're manipulating the song through this like synthesizer. It's almost like, I think something that's really scary is when you play a song backwards and it sounds like words. It sounds like devil worshipping or something like that. I think that's so scary. It gives me chills. I think this sounds like that. This is saying, welcome to the curse. You know, we're gonna fool you. You're gonna make think that the rest of this song sounds really happy. But we've only done that by like taking you through this evil that is the first portal of manipulated sound. Our next chunk is what I like to call the graveyard tune. And that is the like, hook melody from 11 seconds to 16 seconds. So yeah, listen to that. It literally sounds like the kind of music that you would put in like a fun, like kid spooky, like ghost in the graveyard. Do, 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 do. <laughs> like, I don't know. I just, I feel like you get it, right? <laughs> and that tune keeps coming up throughout the song. Like go to 106. You'll notice it more there, but like it, it's constantly playing throughout the whole song. So it's kind of fun. You can like tune into that. You can tune out of it. Like the melody of the song is great. Like honestly, I think unapologetically, I just really like this song. And I think that this whole analysis is maybe like me trying to make this song deep because I like it so much. And my brain is like bored of it somehow and like demanding for it to be more psychologically challenging than it is. Also side note in that chorus, if you've listened from 106 through to 122, through to 122, you'll hear the first Katy Perry part. And when I first heard this song, I thought that she just said, you ain't afraid to catch feels. I know you ain't afraid about feels. And I thought it was like this weird repetition. And I'm like, oh, that's so interesting. It's like she's repeating the word multiple times, always slightly differently. Like, what does that mean? But then I realized it was pop pills. And that almost made me not like the song. Not that I don't like a drug reference or whatever, but I'm just like, oh, that's not as like cool and deep. Okay, one last thing I'm going to direct you to. I don't even know if this is creepy, but if we're just talking about like cool background music, there's one part where they switch up the background and it's 
258 onward through the end of Big Sean's verse. I guess if we're spinning this whole thing graveyard, this could be the little like graveyard chorus, but I just kind of like it. So I also realized that like, <laughs> how long has this song been out? Like years. And I have had all these thoughts about it, but I've actually never watched the music video. So I just went and reacted to the music video right now. And it's just funny that the color palette is like very warm and happy. But the one thing that's like really cool is if you look in the music video at, wait, let me give you a timestamp for the music video this time, seven seconds. You can see that the background there is almost like Truman Show. Like he's not really on the beach. He's in a stage that's made to look like the beach. So it's sort of diorama-esque which I guess means that you can say that the makers of this music video decided that the aesthetic should be creepy diorama, which is <laughs> literally one of my favorite aesthetics. <laughs> the music video also just keeps doing these dramatic cuts to like parrots and bearded dragons. Like what the hell? This is so my aesthetic. Also the fact that Big Sean's verse is just like him in this throne with two parrots next to me. It's like, if I'm ever in a power situation, like that is exactly where I'll be. I respect that. Anyway, beautiful. I love it. That's the, that's it. <laughs> that's the point of the video. I just want to get to that point where everyone across the country has the song's feels on their Halloween playlists. We're getting to October, so everyone cue that one up. Um, let's blow it up again three years later. But anyway, that's it. Stay safe. Take care. Go vote.